God bless you for tuning back to the Salvation Links. As you know, we've been talking about the Holy Spirit. And as we all know, the Lord has given us uh, the spirit of comforter that will tell us all things, teach us all things, and remind us of all things. So this week, I found a very interesting message from Apostle Sam and the man I call the Paul Apostle of our time. And he's talking about um, the keys the keys to unlock the full potential which God had given to us. And he's talking about we're not settling for mediocre life. I love this message. Actually, the message is very, very long. It's about one hour, 45 minutes. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be giving it to you um, in, 30, in like 30, 30 minutes or per message. I will give you the message that is not very long like you know, maybe 30 minutes and uh the one that are not up to 30 minutes i'll bring them together but why am i doing this because i really really want you to be able to digest this message very well i think it's very very strong message and the points are very very powerful and i believe that's why i'm dividing them and also as you know in this channel we like to give you the messages uh short messages and then I'll give you the link for the long one so on this message, on these messages, I'm going to divide them. Let's say into, let's say three of them. Uh, but the first one I'm going to let you go on and watch right now is the first one. He says, say, be strong in the Lord, build capacity and strength that is derived for knowing the God of the Bible. He, he's talking about for us to be very prosperous in life, for us to be successful in life, we need to know the lord let us go and listen to apostle selma and then now we'll come back and talk more um at the end okay let's go and systems can change governments can change this man called daniel was a very mysterious man because he had such a grace that daniel outlasted almost everyone the adverse the kings and all the adversities that were the men who were together fighting the purposes of god over his life the staying power was a grace that the nation of israel had in egypt that they survived 430 years and even though many things happened of that generation that came out only joshua and caleb got into the promised land but how many of you know that because of the grace that was upon them there were people who had been enslaved for many years but nothing failed to disperse them indefinitely there was always a way that they gathered back like the hen gathering her chicks the staying power is one of the mysterious provisions by the spirit of god that can empower men and grace men to last that when the vicissitudes of life the challenges of life they rise and fall at the end of it when the dust is settled you are still standing my goodness i have been part of by the privilege of god's grace being a strong encouragement for even men and women in the gospel i have seen the mighty cry i have seen the mighty join the weak to cry i have seen kings cry nobles cry leaders cry because life can do its thing to men. And if you do not know how to stay, I've seen couples cry. I've seen parents cry. I've seen children cry. I've seen great people cry. When it has to do with weariness, it is an equalizer. Both the rich and poor experience it. Both the anointed and those who are otherwise experience it. What you are learning tonight will equip you to last that decades after now when the storms of life and destiny shift and do their thing you will be standing as robust as a palm tree you believe that shout a loud amen. amen can i tell you it is better to not start the journey to life and destiny than to become a story that is a memorial a memorial of failure that someday people will say there was once a company called abc there was once a man of God called ABC and for the simple reason that you did not have the energy to continue. I did a bit of athletics before and I did long distance race for a few years. It started as a punishment. 
and then we later discovered there was a grace there so the bible says all things work together <laughs> are we together yes it started as a punishment and then we found out that there was a grace so we started doing circling the field seven times sometimes 12 times you know like a marathon and god granted me grace for whatever reason i seem to be able to do that very effectively i would run you think i'm tired but i'll continue and i watch people usually we are many when we're about to start many including those who know they will not finish and the moment they say start we begin to run and there are others who begin to run in front they clap for them too early they start clapping and they are encouraged flattered then discouraged then they gas out and then some of them fall like packs of cars after two or three rounds you see people literally you know how an asthmatic patient gas for breath some will just stop and say it's not worth it what am i going to get several excuses begin to happen i remember the first time it was myself and another gentleman who was a senior and we ran and at a point we were running together and that was when our master looked at us and he said wow so it means that we can incorporate this in the sports of the school and they started incorporating it listen let me tell you the truth the skill you used to start is not what you used to remain did you hear what i said the dynamics of starting anything usually the basic level entry level of any kind of knowledge and skill and motivation is sufficient to start but when you see people last and outlast there are other elements that were incorporated on their way and this is what i want to teach you tonight hallelujah many have aborted life and destiny because they knew how to start but they did not know how to remain the stamina that keeps the great great regardless what happens the stamina that keeps the vibrant vibrant the stamina that keeps the prayerful prayerful the stamina that keeps the wise wise the stamina that keeps visionaries visionaries regardless what happens this is what you are learning tonight it is called the staying power for someone you are receiving that to jack your company, your spiritual life, your ministry, your business back to life. You prayed and God answered with this sermon tonight. So pay attention as you learn. Hear this. Men are as powerful as the God that backs them. Men are as powerful as the mysteries that surround them. Men are as powerful as the God that backs them men are as powerful as the mysteries the bodies of spiritual knowledge that supports and surrounds them and i've put together tonight by the spirit of god five keys that i have learned from scripture i have learned through the privilege of mentorship of people with structured consistent results and by the privilege of god's grace some of these have been principles that have incorporated in my own life and i know it works is a man of god ready tonight is a businessman ready to listen tonight is a champion ready tonight someone determined to last and remain if you are ready shout a loud amen. amen key number one those who have the grace that lasts and outlasts outlast challenges outlast seasons by the way the word at last if you care to find out the meaning the word at last means to continue to exist in spite of to continue to exist in spite of it means to remain active it means to remain active it means to last longer than things opponents and conditions i'll take it one more time to outlast means to continue to exist in spite of to outlast means to remain active to outlast means to last longer longer than things longer than opponents longer than conditions usually unfavorable this is what it means to outlast and very quickly 
without further ado i want to give you five keys that will grant anyone the grace and the empowerment and at the end of my teaching by the privilege of god's grace someone will carry that grace bodily tonight in the name of jesus a weary person will come back full of faith you will learn a lot wisdom will be imparted upon you from the throne are you ready number one the first key that has helped me has helped any great person i know is to be strong in the lord write it down the first key that helps men to stay to last and to outlast is to be strong in the Lord the strength that is derived from your knowing God there is a stamina and strength that is derived from knowing God Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 10 popular scripture it says finally brethren be strong I like amplified give it to us please amplified says finally be strong in the Lord it says be empowered through your union with him draw your strength from him that strength which his boundless might provides show me a champion who has remained show me a great trailblazer a destiny changer who has remained I show you a man especially in the kingdom who has mastered how to be strong in the Lord write this your confidence in life will be on the strength of your knowledge of God your confidence in life will be on the strength of your knowledge of God your confidence in life that includes every endeavor you are part of will be on the strength of your knowledge of God second Timothy 1 12 second Timothy chapter 1 and verse 12 please the Bible says for the which cause I also suffer these things nevertheless I am not ashamed for I know whom I have believed hallelujah and I am persuaded say persuaded one more time say persuaded I am persuaded that he is able his ability was derived from my knowing him that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him I have taught you here koinonia that God does not keep what you have he keeps what you commit to him the bank does not keep the money in your house they keep the money you deposit as a trust in the account am I right on that if you have one million and you keep it in your house and it is stolen and you blame the bank you see that now the court will charge you for fraud because they are not entitled to keep anything outside of their jurisdiction so God cannot protect a destiny that is not handed over to him if you trust him enough trust him with your life if you trust him enough trust him with your destiny if you trust him enough trust him even with your days they looked on to him and their faces were lightened there is no shame when we trust in the Lord the Bible even says with all our hearts we should trust him and it says to lean not unto our own understanding it says in all your ways Proverbs 3 5 to 7 acknowledge him and he shall direct your path next verse says be not wise in your own understanding it says fear the Lord and depart from evil be strong in the Lord please look at me a time will come when the only true ally in your life will be God did you hear what I said a time will come when the most trusted ally in your life will be God some trust in horses some trust in chariots how many of you know that horses and chariots are a warriors ally he needs them to be efficient in war but he says some trust but we will trust in the name of the Lord our God early enough you must learn that the greatest security in your life the longevity factor in this ministry your ministry destiny your family your business is God himself and if you allow your knowledge of God to suffer because you are pursuing any other thing you will learn painfully with time that you made a bad bargain with destiny are we together be strong in the Lord.
first two words be strong it takes strength to continue the bible says if you turn aside in the day of battle it says your strength is small if you turn aside in the day of battle your strength is small caleb spoke in joshua chapter 14 and verse 11 he said as i was can you imagine by what technology it's not a natural thing he says i am yet as strong this day as i was when moses sent me 40 years down the line the guy said i am still strong for war i am still strong to go in and i'm still strong to go out i made a joke some time ago that many leaders are usually eager to serve not just to serve nations to serve companies i've prayed for many people at their retirement or when maybe another director takes over and usually i am shocked to see that the zeal that they had when they began that adventure usually diminishes sometimes almost to zero at the point of retirement i've seen people clamor for positions and titles and at the point where the reality of that office beats on them when they're about to retire they retire in a hurry they said director can we shift your retirement by two weeks say no way i will retire now because they are tired of all the troubles something happens to men when they stay long enough with men they almost choose to quit it takes a man who knows god to remain in the world of men let me repeat this again it takes a man who knows god to remain in the world of men the stories and the episodes of pain betrayal anger and a mix of all the humanities of men is sufficient to to blow your vision deflate your passion erode your appetite and your energy it takes a man who knows god to have the stamina to continue in this world of men be strong in the lord be strong in the lord what happens to a pastor when he loses say his wife or his child at that point you need beyond masculinity at that point is beyond brain work there are things that can befall men in life that makes you to wish death have you seen people commit suicide in our world do you think it's that easy to kill yourself don't try it are we together but our world is full of people who jumped into lagoons and made certain statements others recorded themselves world this is to let you know where i'm about to die i am tired i'm 35 45 nothing is working and they jump in and you would think they are playing until you find them dead a man's spirit can be so broken that death looks like gain a man's spirit can be so broken that by yourself you will want to kill yourself hallelujah many years ago i had the honor of praying for someone who had an accident and it's not a picture i want to paint for you that person was so broken like for the rest of his or her life he will not be able to walk i mean anywhere you can find bone was broken how the person was alive i remember talking to the person and the man true story the man said i wish for death i'm already saved why will i live like this being a burden to my wife being a burden to my children people have left jobs to take care of me they have left everything it's unfair to them that was his he cried with his tears he said at least if i die i know i'm going to heaven and all the monies that are spent on me can be used for something else can i tell you people can go through things in life that makes them pray by themselves for death this is life for you you need to be strong in the lord moses you are about to lead god's people into the promised land you have no idea the hittites the perizzites the jebusites and all the people the forces that you'll be contending with so he told joshua like he told moses be strong remember he said it before the journey when god tells you be strong he means he's talking to a warrior are we together be strong be strong it takes strength to remain there are people today who became great and they started the journeys of their lives with no father and no mother 
but they became strong they said listen i may not be able to do anything about my life daddy died mommy died sisters died no siblings no support but for as long as i have breath within me i will take a step of faith and some of them went to go and write jam by themselves they went to gain admission by themselves all they had was money enough to get into the school some of them today are company owners it takes strength to do anything in life giving flimsy excuses and blaming yesterday and men is the lot of weak people you need to be strong first in the lord someone prophesy to yourself say be strong mean what you are saying one more time say be strong be strong means I know that things have happened around your life that is unfavorable. But rest in the fact that there is a God who can save men. Are we together now? Be strong in ministry. You started ministry and after 10 years there are only two members. Be strong. Be strong. You have a problem right now with your rent. Embarrassment is imminent. Be strong. One thing I can tell you about life is that it passes. Life is not static. Life moves. And if you have the endurance, that scene will change. It's like the pages of a book. It will take time to open. It's like the hand of a clock. Have you seen a clock with a battery that stays? It moves. It may move slow, but the same distance that our hand is moving is what the minute and the second is moving. It's just that your attention is on the hour hand. That's why it looks slow. Everything in life will come to pass be strong there are men who do not have the stamina to look on to Jesus and to be strong who would ever believe that upon this earth today according to the authority of scripture that a flood once covered the earth and there was no land and there were only eight people you would think the earth will never have land again Look at the world today. Nothing is as dangerous, as powerful, as threatening as it initially looks. I have taught you that life always comes with its challenges in a magnified form. It takes stamina to deflate it to its right size and then defeat it by understanding. Someone prophesied, be strong. You are not the first to look for a house rent. Please, it's not a unique attack to you. You are not the first to struggle with a child. I know that there are parents who are struggling with autistic children and let me tell you the truth it is a very difficult thing I have witnessed for myself there are people struggling with all kinds of cases and whilst they pray every day the situation seems to deteriorate the staying power is derived from the ability to know God and to draw strength from him I know God. I may not know the director in that company, but I know God. I may not know the president, the owner of the oil and gas company, but I know God. And my Bible says the people that know their God, even though they are weak, it says they shall be strong. Someone say be strong. That police case will come to pass. Be strong. That issue with your relatives, be strong. I know that you are the first son now out of 12 children. And you don't even have a job you don't know how to take care of the remaining hey be strong crying does not solve the problem be strong you need to shut your door and prophesy to yourself be strong let me tell you the truth behind every exploit you see until men tell you their challenges and take off their destiny clothes for you to see the scar you usually will focus on the crown alone there is no champion who did not wear his seasons through their courage. Be strong. It's not unique to you. Hmm. Yes, sir. You know, most times when God speaks to you about destiny, he speaks as if everything will happen overnight. He spoke to you, I have raised you to be an apostle and a prophet. And you thought you would just, a partner would just come and give you one billion. Open a church for you and put your, your picture everywhere. Think again. You now know why pastors cry during pastors' conference. Members just keep laughing, but you see a pastor sitting like this. He's not writing. While the sermon is going on, and you will see from a man, tears coming. The tears are doing the writing. They could relate. Like some of you are too innocent to relate with this teaching tonight. But there are some of you who know that you are in the middle of a season right now. If you are not strong, you will give up. Men do not last because all seasons were to their favor. They stayed 
until dry season became rainy season every farmer knows that it is frustrating to patiently wait as we call it in Africa and in Nigeria for dry season dry season comes with unusual heat it comes with a lot of things right now it's very very hot very very hot you know many times I travel when I return I have to adjust to the temperature it can be very inconveniencing as soon as you land Nigeria you just know you are home that only champions know did you hear what I said every time someone tells you provided I'm in this office you will never be promoted go back home and sit down then your wife says what kind of a man are you there's no food for the children and sometimes the devil says get a knife quickly kill yourself and rest look up look up be strong in the Lord there are times you will do everything right it is not just your season of appearing there is nothing at all that you did wrong you kept the principles what God says to do is what you have done all that is left is to stand haven't done all stand Stand. you called for the program and only five people came and somebody told you go and look for a job quickly because if it's this ministry you are not called uh -uh. we look to Yahweh Yahweh I hope is Yahweh Yahweh we look to I remember many years ago we lost one of our precious daughters in this house wonderful lady she was a leader and I traveled down to go and see the people to comfort them I was so sad about what happened I went for a retreat for three days I said Lord how did this happen that you did not show me how did it did I sin against you is something wrong with my spiritual life have I backslidden what happened to my eyes that I did not see this and afterwards I drew comfort in scripture and when I went we met her mother you know how it is to enter a house where someone is bereaved and the woman kept encouraging us she was the one who became the preacher the woman who lost her daughter come on I said this is stamina look it is a powerful thing in the midst of storms that is when you will see strength from within how do you lose your precious daughter an architect wonderful lady great destiny and you would think the mother would be crying and shedding tears and saying all of you men of god you mean you couldn't see this and she was the one telling us to be strong i left that place i said there are people who something happens to you when you know god you can sit in the midst of fire and be teaching people how to survive you are in the midst of fire you don't even focus on your own fire you have gained mastery over storms The staying power is derived from knowing God. There is something about your knowledge of God that gives you the strength. The three Hebrew boys said, O oh king, I hope you know that fire was not a parable. Has a gas cooker burnt you before? Or stove or electric stove or anything? It can burn you and the sky can remain there for days. Here is a king who is about to throw Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego in fire and they said oh king our God will save us but that even if he does not save us we build capacity already we have come too far with him how do you go back generals don't go back even if it's at the instance they die with honor in battle they don't run away in the military you are charged when you run away from battle no civilians do that warriors stand and they face with valiancy until they win until they win until they win until they win you can worry that financial problem you can worry that health problem when you look like a victim it will help you make you take away that victim mentality God does not raise victims he raises victors you may not see the end but find strength those who last 
are people who are full of hold on not assumed courage not pretentious courage not bold face no the righteous as bold as a lion hmm. i wish i would tell you ministry was always like this i would be lying there were seasons that required stamina there are times in your life where nothing physical can help encourage you that you have a great tomorrow the only thing you hold on to is god said and unfortunately you are the only one who had him so you cannot even tell your wife god said abraham you had god alone what are you going to do with sarah what are you going to do with your mighty men it is very frustrating when you are the only one who had god alone when there is no company to say we had god there was a time when the bible says god said to them separate me all of them had it so there was no conflict but when you are the only one who has had god i'm sending you to america i'm sending you to uk i'm sending you to abuja and you had him you know the word of god is there for you let me tell you it is difficult when you do not have proof that back your convictions yet you do not have a way to defend yourself only time and god can make that defense happen at such times you need the staying power staying power staying power staying power god is speaking to someone today yo you are still the prophet no doubt about it you are still the apostle you are still the prayer warrior you are still that destiny changer the only lady god took out of a family of 10 people you think he's playing with you an old song we used to sing says god did not bring us out this far to take us back again that he brought us out to take us into god does not bring men to take them back you can run back but warriors stand and they remain when the nation of israel wanted to run david said no it's not in our culture to retreat please listen i'm showing you how to be strengthened be strong in the Lord hear me this is why young lady God is telling you invest in your spiritual life now before you get married you don't know the challenges that will befall you at that point it's not a beautiful lady who will fight the challenges it's a woman who knows God know God now that you are a student know God now before you become a director in that company know God now knowing God is an advantage you cannot survive the days that your destiny would capture if you don't know God. Man of God, know God before the sick come. Know God before challenges in ministry comes. Know God before criticisms come. Know God before naysayers know you. Know God. If you do not know God, you will fall like a pack of cards and waste your Christian testimony but the people that do know their God listen I tell you sincerely and may God forgive me if I'm lying even if this ministry never became global and became what God has made it by grace I will still stand it's not about today's result the conviction is greater than the result. the result came because of the conviction Apostle Mayon is a financial problem. I'm in trouble of billions right now. Please find rest. There are people who had problems, billions of dollars, and they are out today. You see, one of the things that makes generals in the kingdom is their scars. Make reference to my teaching lessons from an overcomer. There are certain fears some people don't fear again. There is a way a tenant can suffer and suffer and suffer if you say i'm calling a police you call him you don't know how many times i've gone to the prison there are times that i taught you that one of the ways god gives you courage is to bring you face to face with your fears you will stand in front of it long enough and see that it's a dog without tooth it had no power it only threatened your immaturity when you become strong there are many things you can face beyond what you think you can who is god speaking to they looked unto him please hear me whatever price you can pay to know god it is an advantage and will remain an advantage for the years to come 
there are things by the privilege of God's grace if I did not know about God today I probably would not have had the grace to continue the staying power is derived is derived from number one your knowledge of God can we continue please be seated koinonia for you be strong in the Lord man of God be strong Businessman be strong. Family man be strong. It will end up in praise. Your confidence in life will be tied to the revelation of the God that you know. There are times no man will be able to answer the question you are asking. Only the one who created the heavens and the earth. Why did my brother die? Why did my sister die? Why did my company fold? Why is the ministry not advancing? Again, I make reference to God's servant who said one time the church that today has become a global phenomenon was not growing. And he called on a few brethren and they went into prayer and fasting. And whilst they were praying, according to him, that the Lord asked him to step out and answered him, showed him a dark layer of cloud and said, this is a dark layer misrepresenting your ministry. And he was asked to cause it and then he printed the posters and said, come and see. And that was the beginning of a journey today that has inspired millions across the globe. Can I tell you the truth? Every champion is a champion because of what he overcame. Oh, powerful, wild of God. That is so powerful. I love this man of God. May God continue to bless him. May God continue to bless his ministry. He is, God is using him to do mighty great thing across the globe. And uh, thank God for internet. You can easily, you can enjoy him from anywhere you are. So as I said, this is a very long <laughs> video. It's one hour, about one hour, 40 minutes. And I'm going to be divided. I think I'm going to group it into three uh give it to give it to you like in 30 30 minutes so you can actually play them back you know spend 30 minutes listening to it just listen to it like three four times the same message it will just sink right in remember what he said look he's talking about don't settle for a mediocre life and he told us that the secret that empower believers is the ability to stay strong in the word of god to stay strong in the word of god knowing god is very important i love the way he stressed the message you know you you watch it you see what he said and uh, god will continue to give you the wisdom so one of the ways god bring us uh, uh god bring us courage is to make us come face to face with our fear and uh, that, that he said, when the fear stays there for long, then we found out that he's just a back end dog that ain't got no teeth. And he said, look, pay any price to know God. Pay any price to know God. I, I thank God for this message. This is the first part of it. I mean, this is almost about 30 minutes. I, I thank God for this message. And I believe that it has blessed you and will bless you more. Go in there, listen to it. I don't forget. I don't, I'm going to put the link at the end if you want to watch the entire message. I'm going to put the link right there so you can actually sit down there and watch one hour, uh, 40, about 45 minutes. But if you don't want to watch that, just watch this 30 minutes. And the reason why I did it is for you to be able to, for you to be able to, like, you know, get into it, understand it, repeat it. You know, you know how you do Bible, like inductive Bible study. You play the same verse about three, four times to understand, to, you know, to eat it up, to just eat the message. And I, I believe that this will bless you in jesus name i pray that the spirit of god will make you to be strong in the lord the lord will give you the grace now you see what the holy spirit is is doing for us as he said he said this is the word that the holy spirit gave to him and that the holy spirit will continue to remind you of all that you have listened to and help you to put and uh, help us to put it into practice in jesus name i i'm gonna do the next one i'm gonna like i will not have to introduce it anymore i'll just give you a title in it and then uh, come to the end and uh, we we'll talk a little bit about it all right until next time god bless you